So, if you guys were watching part one of why I fly, I said the following day was going to be calmer. Well, it was, but they failed to tell me that it was also going to be colder. Or maybe I just failed to listen, or, or maybe I didn't even care, I don't know. But uh, so Grab your coffee if you want to see the latest, and I like to think it's the greatest. Let's take a look. Also, for the people that was worried that the phone might fall out of my hands, I took care of that problem. And the mask there, that's a different one. I don't have the two little eye holes. Everybody thought I was a bank robber. So, ha. Uh, I'm just an honest citizen trying to have fun. Testing, one, two, three. The chase cam has really been a pain lately. It's been flipping upside down when I take off. Uh, I think I figured it out. Let's see how that works out. A couple people have said, we'll just flip it over when you edit it. So let's try that. Yeah, not really the look that I'm looking for. Uh, and I got an hour and a half of this. I went down and flew the river, the Muskegon River. Some beautiful footage. But uh, I know it sounds like I'm complaining. I'm not. The important part is, if, if your takeoffs and your safe landings add up to the same number, that's a good day. So meanwhile, since I'm up here, I might as well check out a couple jobs that I've done. Just completed. Right here is a pole barn site. I do excavating and I, I did all the, uh, the driveway and the spread the topsoil and ripped all them stumps out and made that big pile of brush back there. So anyway, let's move on. downtown Chase, Michigan. The suburbs are off to the right. I didn't get that in the in the clip. So we got a bad boy power line right there. I always try to get up 500 feet when I go over top of that, at least 500 feet. Uh, I guess any power line will mess with your complexion, but uh, for some reason that one just scares me more. So anyways, uh, this is that other job that I was talking about. And if you look right in front of my tire, you can see this bridge that I put in, in the walkway. I did all the stonework, and I got to get back there and finish filming that one, make another movie. So now might be a good time to subscribe if you've been thinking about it. Meanwhile, the camera that's supposed to be watching my six is looking like this. But if you guys continue to watch, I will show you how I fix this problem permanently. So I'm almost to the river, and then I see my buddy Kelly down there just a slaving away. So I thought I'd drop in and say hi. Just to the right of my tire in that white pickup in the corner, you can see him. He's waving. I don't know if it was just with one finger or not. Here's the river, folks. And one of the reasons why I fly. Is that beautiful or what?
So it's uh, starting to get a little chilly and I've got a ways to go to get back home, so I'm going to head back. So on the way back, I checked out the Reed City Golf Course. I've never played golf. They say you'll love it if you try it, or try it if you love it, or something like that. I know I struggle with putt-putt golf, so maybe someday. I thought I'd fly in and check out the old Miller Airport, Nartron Field. It goes by a couple different names. I thought that was fog up there, but from the water, but actually it was smoke. It was coming from uh, an animal tanning place right there in town, and it's nasty stuff. I don't know what's in it, but I think my complexion changed a couple shades to the darker. About this time, chili has changed to freezing. I've really got to make some time and get that heated suit wired into the machine. So I'm going to head her straight home now. Oh, I forgot, I still got to show you guys how to uh, fix that trail cam, chase cam. So, guys, as you can see, that last flight, I was up about an hour and a half, and this thing was flying upside down the whole time. Sure. I don't know. I think we need to do some NASA engineering. So, and see what's happening. So let's check it out. I got an idea.
There, it's upside down right now. You know, flip her out and fly like that. I guess we'll find out, huh? Let's test it out. So after meeting or exceeding all of our critical testing standards on our proving ground, the chase cam is ready to fly again. <laughs>